Thank you. We're now at the train station, about to go to Yogyakarta. Are you excited? I think it's pronounced Yogyakarta. Okay, we're gonna go to Yogyakarta and we've got a seven hour train trip ahead of us. Are you excited? I'm also not sure whether it's called Yogyakarta. Well, we're going to our next destination and we're about to board a seven hour train in executive class. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Good, <laughs> then let's go. Wagon four. <laughs> the acrobatics. <laughs> My backpack is so heavy, it brought me back. Effortless. <laughs> well, we know there are stairs that you can get yourself, but they were too far, we were just too lazy. So, I think we have good seats. I chose the ones online that only have one seat in front of them because I thought it might be a good idea. And I think it was. Wow. That's impressed. a lot of room out there. I'm also very impressed. Oh, this is the kind of service I'm looking forward to. So for this seven hour train ride, we have quite comfortable seats. We have a table in our armrest, which is quite luxurious because now we can work on our laptops, technically. I don't know if we will because we are still lazy. I just got a little COVID kit with a mask and a wet wipe. So this is also very practical. And these are even the types of masks we love, um, the 3D type ones. And what is the best part about, well, this whole executive class? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, that didn't look as impressive as I had hoped it would. <laughs> okay, this so the seats... It is a slow process, but yeah. it works. So the seats recline? Yes. That's, that's super nice. And I also have lots of leg space. We've also got two electrical sockets, very practical. And also two of these, I guess, drinks holders. I wouldn't really trust them with uh, anything, <laughs> but we do have them. I think they're made for a bottle of water, so nothing okay. bad can happen. I mean, we can keep it here and, and see if it stays there. I really like the temperature in here. It's not too cold, not too warm. I hope it stays that way, but they've tuned the AC to perfection. And that's kind of nice. And I'm also looking forward to trying some meals in here because you can order meals. I think they're ready-made meals that get warmed up for you. And they're supposed to be quite good. So I think we definitely have to try them. I'm in seven hours. Seven hours, we'll need some breakfast and lunch. Dinner. Um, excuse me, miss. Um, could you tell me how much you paid for this train ticket? Of course. We paid 22 euros for this train ticket, which is about 24 US dollars, I believe. And for reference, I saw that the cheapest economy class tickets for this train next week are about 10 euros. So it is double the price even a bit more. I think for a seven hour journey, I feel like it's worth it, but it really depends on your budget. We just thought after our sunrise hike last night, this might be a good idea. Okay, thank you. Didn't really ask about all of that, but okay. <laughs> so our train just stopped and we're now gonna go into the other direction and they just turned the seats around. It's so cool. I mean, I was a bit confused when they asked me to stand up, but I got it after they explained. And now we're facing the front of the train again, so we're not going backwards. And I hate going backwards, so I think this is very smart. And also, I got us some food. I got us some crisps, and then also some ready-made boxes with rice and chicken. Well, one of them has chicken, one is fried rice and also some coffee, instant. I really need this right now. I'm hungry, very hungry, per usual. This egg looks so cute in there. And then we have a lot of plastic, unfortunately. Um, we have some Krupuk chips, which apparently people love here, and I don't mind. Um, we have some 
plastic pack vegetables. That is probably the fried rice. That's a lot of chili. Here we go. The punch of the sambal is definitely there. It doesn't taste too ready-made. Got a good spiciness to it. I mean, very spicy, as was to be expected. But I like it. It's, it's pretty good. Simple dish, but on this train, it's uh, nice. Kind of surprising, actually. Fried rice is also quite nice. Um, there is some chicken in it, even though the guy in the kitchen said it's vegetarian, so for all vegetarians, watch out. Uh, apart from that, it's really good. I'm not really able to open my chili sauce, otherwise I would have <laughs> put that on top. But I don't know if that's meal. the fault of the, I think the it dish. Is. I, think you know, it is. Yeah. I also got this fried thing. Like in a fried egg and noodle pastry, also quite nice. These are my veggies for today. Still going strong, even in the other direction. And I'm even now trusting it with my coffee. We've become good friends. So with these boxes, you don't really get the biggest portion. And they're not super cheap. I think they cost 38,000 per box, which is still okay on a train. Um, and I think food quality wise, it's okay. So I wouldn't expect a culinary explosion of flavors or anything like that. Um, it is what it is, but I enjoyed it. The coffee, unfortunately, is pretty bad. But, yeah. but we're not gonna complain, are we? Maybe we should have just asked for oil and water because our own instant coffee that we got in our bags is a lot better than this one. That's uh, fine. Stop complaining. <laughs> we're not complaining. I'm just gonna drink it. We're reviewing. It's not complaining. I was also pretty excited that they have these here, honey and butter crisps. In my opinion, one of the best flavors for crisps you can have, after salt and vinegar maybe. The best thing with them is always the smell, the first smell you take. I don't know how, that fake butter flavor and smell, they've really got that science down. It's not too sweet, honey taste is kind of subtle. Maybe that's also just because my mouth is still burning from that chicken. But yeah, these are so good. So this is the first time you're trying them. What do you think? <laughs> okay, well, after my, after my raving review, this is what your face could look like. I don't like this fake butter smell nor taste. And I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's super fake, but that's what it's all about, you know? The butter. It's interesting. I'll okay, that. good. Fine. Well, that went way quicker than expected. That didn't feel like seven hours at all. No. Uh, I think because we enjoyed it so much. We can't really say if it is worth the extra money, but... For us, it was, For I us, think. it definitely was. We had a super quiet ride. The seats were super nice. It was kind of empty as well. We could, we could do a little bit of work. Yep, yeah, and we could take a nap in between because the seats, of course, recline very nicely. But now we're here in Yogya. That's the short version. I thought it was Jogja. <laughs> Jogja. Oh no, let's not start with this again. That's, I think, a successful travel day or half travel day. Good morning. It's a scooter exploration day today. And the first stop is Prambanan Temple. It's Did you say Prambanan? <laughs> Prambanan, I said Prambanan. <laughs> there are lots of temples here, but this is one of the two biggest. It is the biggest Hindu temple in Indonesia. So that's saying a lot, but I'm just saying it's one of the really big two attractions here around Yogyakarta. And yeah, we decided to only do one of those temples because it is kind of expensive. And, and it takes long to get to. Yes, very and long. We only have this one day to really explore Yogyakarta because tomorrow we want to spend eating mainly. <laughs> and so exploring in another kind of way. Yeah, so this was a half hour drive. Felt more like 45 minutes. Um, and then we also have to take that back. And it's already noon.
POV your our phone taking a picture of us. Yeah. <laughs> so hot today. This looks perfect right now. Want to go in? Yes. Um, what is it? <laughs> it's a relaxation room. Oh look, there's a big butterfly on there. Oh, that's nice. It's also relaxing. It's included in the place. Hmm. We're trying to figure stuff out, but I think we we got it now. It's no problem with a competent guide like me. You and the always, internet. And Wikipedia, you will always know where you are in this complex. And it's pretty nice because we're sitting under a tree, which is providing some shade. There's a slight breeze going. You can't go into these temples here anyway, so we might as well sit here and, and look at them from the outside. So the outer part of this complex, which is outside of these walls, is dedicated to the normal people, people who still have all enjoyments in life and have um, us, basically. And um, the middle part of this complex, where we are sitting right now, is dedicated to people who have seen the light, who have um, no possessions in the world anymore. That would be me then? Uh, of course, yes. And then the central part, which is the Temple of Shiva, is dedicated to the gods, as far as I can tell from this article. Thanks to a guide. No problem. That would be 200,000. No, no money, sorry. to the Pambanan complex is the Sewu temple which is a Buddhist temple and it's supposed to be also quite impressive so I think we're gonna be checking that out um, shall we go to the Sona Relaxasi first or? I think I'm relaxed enough okay. it's super nice that they play these relaxing sounds everywhere throughout the complex but I'm really craving a massage now for some reason this is what severe dehydration looks like. Beware of the signs. Beware of the sun. I mean, all in all, this is a really relaxed park complex and then you've got some really impressive temples in between, so that's pretty cool. really cool and also there are no people here at all we are the only ones here and I think that is always something special so I think I even prefer this experience to the one at Prambanan temple even though the other one might be bigger and even more impressive but this is also very beautiful and you can even go inside even though someone already told us there's nothing inside so he was like if you want to see nothing go to the Sewu temple which we found quite funny and we're gonna do just that let's check out nothing it's that restricted area so we're not sure whether we are allowed to go inside or not but as long as no one's here we're just gonna interpret it as you may go inside okay yeah I think that's a reasonable choice Oof, it smells like that excrements. Not a bad Airbnb. I like it. So there might not be much to see in these temples, but I think just being inside of them is kind of special. <sighs> we just walked outside of the Sevu temple and there was a lady selling cold drinks. <laughs> our savior. She and she saved our lives. Yeah, and she even had Pokari Sweat, my choice of drink against dehydration. Not sponsored, but Bukhari Sweat. If you are watching this, please reach out. I would love to get sponsored by you. I drink Bukhari Sweat all day, every day. <laughs> um, and it's, it's actually true. It's my choice Although, of drink for life. Mostly the sugar-free version. Yeah, but the sugar-free version is really good. The iron water, it doesn't taste <laughs> as good. But Do you want to mention all of their products? Or? I don't actually know if they make other products. <laughs> So, uh, you know, reach out, <laughs> cheap price, especially for you. Exit is through the gift shop. Of course. <laughs> oh, 
by the way, we've asked some locals on how to pronounce the city and it's pronounced Yogyakarta or Yogyakarta depending on where you come from. And if you use slang or if you're a local, you say Yogya or Jogja. So that's the cool way to say it. So we were both correct. We were both right. Finally, it's lunchtime. We're now at a place called Vedankopi Prambanan. It's pretty close to the temple complex. And the setting is perfect, I would say, for a really nice lunch. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, Such a nice place. I think I took way too much from the buffet because I was so hungry. Um, but it definitely all looks very good. It's a simple buffet where you can pick your own veggies and meat and rice and everything you like. I guess I don't have to explain how a buffet works. <laughs> no, I think we're good. Um, I think we should eat. Yes, we should eat. Also got some iced coffee. Happy times. And look at this omelette. It's called crispy egg. At least that's what they called it. It's super good. No idea how they make it. I think we need to ask. That was really tasty. It was, and really expensive. Yes, and definitely <laughs> one of the most expensive meals we had here in Indonesia. But it was good, a really nice setting and I think it was okay. Yeah, we really needed some food at this point. Well, that was a very fun day, but also a bit short-lived because we originally wanted to now check out the other parts of Yogyakarta um, because it has a really nice old town. But then as we were standing at a traffic light, an SUV, a pretty big one, slightly ran over my foot, uh, which hurt quite a lot. <laughs> it didn't run over all of it, but I'd say 40%. So I was sitting in the back and I just noticed that Simon went, hey, 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 and I thought it was because the car was going so close beside us, but it was at walking speed. But then I noticed that it's on Simon's foot. <laughs> and then we were like, go back, go back, because it was standing there, just waiting. I don't know, I think the, on the, my driver, foot. <laughs> I think the driver didn't really know what happened. Um, yeah, but we told him to go back, uh, screamed at him, and he understood, went back. Well, and then I asked Simon, like, a minute later, are you okay? He was like, yeah, yeah, it's nothing. I was like, it can't be good have a car run over your foot. So that's why we just stopped on the side of the road to get some frozen things from the supermarket here and we ended up buying a pack of frozen french fries and that's what we're doing now to cool my foot and then afterwards we'll probably just head home. That's all from, from our day. Uh, I think we're really happy to be here in Yogyakarta and I think my foot is going to be fine and we're planning to have a really nice food related day tomorrow. And so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and uh, we'll see you in the next one.